On top of the world in Vestal, this luxury home is waiting for you. Teresa Blanchett takes us on a tour. The Century 21 Sabara Real Estate Showcase starts now. Teresa, how are you? I'm doing great, Tom. This house has an absolutely spectacular view. It does. And I, I've forgotten about that. Uh, I've been in the house, but it's been some time. Right. So I'm anxious to see it, and I'm already dazzled by it. It's one of the better, I think, more unique homes in this neighborhood. Well, it is. And it was built by Pekoski Builders, mm -hmm. and it's got a ton of upgrades that a lot of these homes up here don't have. Well, for instance, I know that whole design feature here is different. It is. It doesn't look much different outside but up here right. in here it's really something special right. so you have to get in this one to see it you do it's, you do look at these beautiful beautiful hardwood, hardwood floors. floors throughout and and we've got on this floor we've got a living room a living room a uh, formal living room mm -hmm. she's got the crown molding and it's not the the cheap crown molding neither mm -hmm. it's all that fancy work yeah, on yeah. the dental her decorating is really right nice and i love this window up here in the foyer because I mean when you're up there you can see for miles the out whole there. valley yeah. the whole valley yeah. yes it's, it's gorgeous today I'm sure they're gonna we're gonna show that mm -hmm. as we go and along. it's all neutral decor so mm -hmm. any anybody's furniture could fit in here yeah it's very very pleasant yeah so now back this way what have we got we've got an office we've got a full bath actually someone could easily make this a first floor bedroom for mm -hmm. an in-law mm -hmm. and they've got a first floor full bathroom on this floor Okay. So if they had an in-law that couldn't go up and down the steps, that could be it. And then on the back of the house, what I really like here is this fabulous enclosed, is it an all-season room? It's an all-season room. All year round. All year round. Just yep. gorgeous. The, the yards are very well maintained. The it's landscape It's very private, is, too, outside. Yeah, and it's gorgeous. And when you pull up, there's a majesty to the house. It is. It's a real it majesty. Is. Look at the size of this kitchen. Isn't it beautiful? It's all custom. The glass, it's got some glass fronts. Mm -hmm. The appliances all stay. I mean, it's just beautiful. You mentioned earlier the comment you made that, I, that sticks with me is that great color of the, um, the countertops, the Corian. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's such a. It, that's one of the nice things about Corian. You can actually pick a color. Right, and it's know? it's actually neutral. So I mean, right. it's not like that dark stuff. It kind of like looks like a garden. A right. type thing, you right. know? It, it puts a splash of color, but not deafening. Right, yeah. right. Blinding. Nice fireplace here in the, in the look at these windows. See, I yeah. missed this before. Right. Look at the, the windows. The windows are hu huge. And I mean, you've got a beautiful fireplace with the mantle and gas fireplace. And it's You've huge. got, yeah, surround sound in this room. I love the ceilings, how high they are. Yeah, this is a, this is like 22, baby. Yeah, wow. at least. One of the features that always knocks me out in the house and I love is this kind of an enclosed um, all season room on this all house. It's heated, room. everything, right? right? Mm -hmm. And and it has uh, sliders out to a really really nice open air patio, bluestone. Bluestone patio, right? Yeah. And I love the garden window where um, it overlooks that sunroom. Yeah. You can close the windows if you wanted, mm -hmm. or just have it as a pass through. You kind of feel like you're out in the in the in the yard. In the yard, and, yeah. and a huge beautiful garden. And so here off the kitchen is a butler's pantry, yes. which is kind of neat. It's nice for entertaining. Or in case you want to have a drink nice or something. Nice little bar yeah. area, yeah. <laughs> and then back into the formal back dining room. So we've made a full loop Right, there. and off this end too, you do have a laundry room mm -hmm. and a, a half bath. And uh, with the laundry room, it's got the ironing board that comes down. Mm -hmm. And you've got a two car oversized, huge ceiling garage there. So you can store more stuff if you yes. wanted to put yeah, up a loft. Yeah, you could. Right, definitely. Okay, great. Wonderful. Okay. Let's go take a look at bedrooms. All right. Yeah, see, that window, we commented when we were downstairs, but how great it is up here. Yeah, the view wow. is nice. And it, that, There's a privacy fence, too, with the, the neighbors there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, every, you've got great neighbors next door. And my favorite kind, they have a pool you might get invited occasionally. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. way you don't have to maintain That's it. That's right. Yeah. So anyway, down on this end of this. Uh, uh, yeah, this end of the hallway has um, two bedrooms and they're beautiful, nice size bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And it also has like a Jack and Jill um, bathroom. Sure, bath, yeah. Yeah, cool. someone could use uh, like the, the sink where the showers, you know. Um, separated? Separated, yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. And then down, and we're standing right in front of bedroom three. Bedroom three is here, yeah. yes. And it, it's a beautiful, again, nice size bedroom. I mean, they're not small rooms up here. And it has its own bath. Right. Full bath. Mm -hmm. So this is where the favorite child lives. Right. Yeah. It's like five bathrooms in this house. Wow. 
I love this master bedroom. Isn't this beautiful with the vaulted ceilings? Oh my God. And that's huge. First you come in with those beautiful double doors. Right. And then you've got this vaulted ceiling like you said. It's like, right. What and a, you what do have great. windows so you yeah. can look at the views of the valley. And again, what fabulous views. It is. It's yeah. nice the way this is sited. It's up high mm -hmm. and you really can see everything. And yet the driveway's flat. The driveway's flat. So you don't have to worry about the winter. Nope, just drive right in. What a beautiful master. Yeah, it's gorgeous ma master Wow. Band. Yeah, and look at this. Well, look at that. Again, more deceptive a beautiful, space. <laughs> yeah, it's got a beautiful walk-in closet. Yeah. Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. Look at the size of that shower. Party tub, party shower. It is. It's beautiful. Yeah. Her wood up here. I mean, there's not one nick on her woodwork in yeah. this house. It's yeah. immaculate. And everything about it is really top shelf. It is. It is. Wow. Well, let's go take a quick look at that basement sure. and wrap it up. Okay. Well, this is even gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, this is a beautiful, updated walkout basement. I say that like I'm surprised. I, I no, shouldn't I know. Be. You shouldn't be surprised in this house. It's all tile. It's, it's all, all tile. Good. It's all air conditioned. I mean, you can have a nice little family room on that side. You can have a bedroom here if you want. Sure. That's an exercise room. Mm -hmm. Plus, you've got a full bath here. And, the, and look at how nice that yeah, is. Yeah, the bar, it's beautiful. It's got the wine uh, rack, Blue, too, yeah. in it. And all the glass fronts. I, I love it. And then they still left a piece over on this side that's storage, like basement area. Yeah, it's it. a huge storage room, furnace room. Furnace room, hot water heater, mm -hmm. all those things. And they all look like they're in excellent shape. Right. So what is the address here? The address is 2 Pine Metal Road in Vestal. In Lyndhurst? In Lyndhurst. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's at the top of the hill. Mm. Um, and it's very close to shopping and all that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got almost 5,200 square finished feet of house. This price just got reduced too, didn't it? Yes, we started at five eighty nine nine, mm -hmm. and we just reduced it to five sixty nine nine. Well, you couldn't duplicate this house for no. a lot, for even a lot more than that. No, it would cost yeah. you a lot more money to build this house the way she's got it. This is one of the nicest houses on the market, I think. I think it is. I truly. know we're prejudiced, but I, it's a beauty. It's it's gorgeous. It's a beauty, mm -hmm. and um, we're anxious to get some people in to see it and maybe yep. take it. Um, if you want to see this, make sure to give Teresa a call. At 607-761-8986 or my office at 607-584-7111. Give Teresa a call. Teresa, thanks for showing it to us. This Thank is one you, of the Tom. nicest houses I've been in this year. Thank you. I it's love really it, too. a beauty. Thanks. Five Antonio Court in Endicott, a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, two-car garage contemporary, 229900 See this on Sunday from 1 to 2 with Carrie King. 1364 Arbor Glade Road in Appalachian, a four-bedroom, three-bath, six-car garage contemporary, 289900 Visit us on Sunday from noon to 1 with Nicole Vaughn. 861 Pennsylvania Avenue in Appalachian, a three-bedroom, one-bath, one-car garage, Cape Cod, 58900 Join us on Sunday from 2 to 3 with Nicole Vaughn. 27 Coventry Road in Endicott, a three-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath, two-car garage, ranch, 162900 Join us on Sunday from 1.30 to 2.30 with Gina Kane. 2717 Manhattan Drive in Endicott, a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage, two story, 234,900. Visit us on Sunday from 1130 to 1245 with Rose Sotak. 1013 Sarah Lane in Endicott, a four bedroom, one and a half bath, one car garage, split entry, 166,000. Join us on Sunday from noon to one with Gina Kane. 11 Shadow Brook Drive in Endicott, a three bedroom, one and a half bath ranch, 99,900. Join us on Sunday from 12.30 to 2.30 with Mike Rizzo. 2010 Tracy Street in Endicott, a three bedroom, three bath, two car garage ranch, 136,900. Visit us on Sunday from 1.15 to 2.30 with Rose Sotak. 2211 Richmond Road in Endwell, a two-bedroom, two-bath, one-car garage ranch, 124900 Join us on Sunday from 245 to 4 with Rose Sotak. 6545 Route 38 in Newark Valley, 
a four bedroom, one and a half bath, two car garage, two story, 142,000. Visit us on Sunday from noon to one with Diane Briggs Angel. 30 Diamond Valley Road in Tioga Center, a three bedroom, one and a half bath, one car garage, Cape Cod, 78,900. Join us on Sunday from three to four with Carrie King. 809 Overbrook Drive in Vestal, a three bedroom, three bath, two car garage, two story, 279,900. Visit us on Sunday from noon to 1.30 with Molly Nolan. 2632 Pine Bluff Drive in Vestal, a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage, two story, 369,900. Join us on Sunday from noon to one with Kelly Ports. Good morning, Carrie. How are you today? Good morning, Tom. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing. This is, uh, this is, wow. I mean, we're just in the, the first room we walk into the kitchen. Look at how nice this is. Look how well put together it he is. He just did a tremendous job, yeah. I think, redoing this house. And it's a farmhouse. It's been redone top to bottom. We're going to see the whole thing. But the kitchen is always the heart of the home. This is outstanding. He has solid oak cabinets, floor to ceiling, uh, laminate floors. The amount of cabinet space in here is amazing. It's like a kitchen I mean, and, twice as big. Right. Any small <clears throat> appliance you have, if you want workspace, if you do a lot of baking, this is a great kitchen yeah. for you. Yeah. And you've got a little eat-in area here. Uh, we're going to see the rest of the house in a minute, but I just wanted to take note of this kitchen because I really love it. I do too, and I don't want to dismiss the importance of it, but I don't want to forget we've got a brand new steel roof too. Oh yeah. Which is really, the, uh, that's kind of the way to go these it days, is. isn't it? I, need, I mean, a 50-year roof, come on. Yeah, You're, how could you beat it? Exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean, this house has everything from the vinyl siding to new windows to the new roof. Uh, foundation is in beautiful condition. I mean, the original house is the, is 1860s, mm -hmm. but the whole house has been totally redone, yeah. top to bottom. That's 2019. Right. All right, well, let's take a look. Okay. So, Carrie, this is designated bedroom, but I think it could easily be a formal dining because you have three other bedrooms. I agree, Tom. I love the size of the windows in this room, and it's yeah. on the front of the house, and it's actually only three steps up from the kitchen. Well, I like the levels in this house. It kind of makes more separation of right. things. It gives it a yeah. contemporary feel, although it is a farmhouse. It yeah. has that classic farmhouse look, but it has sure. a contemporary feel to it. And everything in here is so neutral. Anything you want to do, you can do. Oh, sure. It's all white. It's beautiful. Sure. Okay, let's go down the hall and take a look at... Oh, we missed the laundry, right? There's a first floor laundry. First floor right laundry, the right off the kitchen. Another nice right. feature. Very convenient. Absolutely. There is a basement door, full bath, mm -hmm. and then at the very end of the hall is a nice size living room with mudroom attached and another bedroom. So you have two bedrooms on this level and then two bedrooms on the level above. And if you wanted to leave this a bedroom. Right. And so down here in this uh, other room, there's a door to a porch that goes outside as well. That's and a right. closed porch. So it could actually be, I don't know, maybe your in-law wants to live with you. They sure. Can, they'd have their own entrance. You know, the other thing I'm noticing as we've been through this all, Carrie, is that all the woodwork has just been stained. So it, it doesn't darken and it lets it be bright and airy. And a day like today, the windows are great in this house. It's so airy in here. I feel like it's big, spacious. It isn't small, but I feel like it's really nice and spacious because of that. You could, because of the size of this room and being a rectangular, mm -hmm. you've got a light here and you've got a light here you could make a dining table here and right. have almost like a great room effect where you've right. got your living room with your, you know, your TV and then Well, the take, table. take it to all kinds of various diversities. This could be a family room. That one could be a dining room. There still could be a den or a bedroom if you don't need more than two big bedrooms upstairs. Right. You know, I mean, you've right. got all kinds of different right. opportunities. Right, you've got a here. possibility for an office here on this floor. Yeah. Really, it could be a lot of different things. And then you go out this door, and that's where the mudroom is. Right. Really very nicely finished. I mean, everything in this house is really nicely finished. Well, you, So now you're bringing another thought to my mind. What if you wanted to have an in-home business, a computer-based business or whatever, but on occasion you have you that door to come in? Right. You know, that porch is actually big enough right. you know, to actually put a computer out there or something if you wanted to. It's true. So this is a nice big room. I mean, really. It is. A couple kids in here, easy, right? A couple kids. Uh, 
whatever. It could really even be a master, I suppose, if you want it to be. It's big enough. Yeah. You have an, you have a closet. I mean, each bedroom in this house has its own closet, which, you know, hey. So, Carrie, what is the address here? The address here is 708 Tracy Creek Road. And uh, it's on four? 179.9, Tom. And it's all brand new? All brand new. It's, it's really a nice property. If they want to see it, what do they do? They can give me a call, which is 343-1035, or they can call the office, which is 757-2100. There you go. Give Carrie a call. Nice country setting out Right, here. in Vestal. And in Vestal Schools, close yeah. to everything. Not right. to mention, I know we didn't mention this yet, but it's USDA financeable because it's not in a flood zone. Great. Wonderful. Okay. Good to know. All right. Thanks, Carrie. Thank you. Your yard. It deserves your best. It deserves a little TLC from TLC Landscaping. We're a full-service landscaping and lawn maintenance company serving Brooming Tioga counties for over 23 years. TLC is also your source for Oneonta block retaining systems. Beautifully designed, their interlocking strength provides years of enjoyment. No job is too big or too small. We do it all. Give your yard what hundreds already have. A little TLC from TLC Landscaping. I grew up in the Southern Tier. I went to school here, attended SUNY Broome and Binghamton University, and later Syracuse University. The Southern Tier is my home, and I've practiced law here for over 30 years. In 1995, I started my own firm and limited its practice to representing buyers, sellers, and lenders in real estate transactions. I want to help you make a home here just as I have, or to help you relocate. If you are buying or selling a house or commercial property, call one of my offices convenient to you and put my team on your side. The Savara family of companies welcomes Ed Kwan to the team at Southern Tier Mortgage Company. Ed brings over 20 years of experience as a mortgage originator and an extensive and successful background in the banking and financial industry. For your next residential or commercial mortgage or refinance, you can rely on Ed Kwan and the team at Southern Tier Mortgage Company to manage your mortgage application and pre-qualification both thoroughly and accurately. Visit us at stmc.us or call anytime at 607-231-7862. Morning, Molly. How are you? I'm great, Tom. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. This is a nice, big house. It's beautiful. We are at 7 Dorchester Drive in UE Schools. Uh, Crestview Heights. Crestview Heights. And there's just, this house is impeccable condition. It's great when you've had two people who have pride of ownership and everything's yeah. just been really well taken care of. There's hardwood everywhere and it's in excellent condition. And it's the real hardwood from it the is. 80s when this was built. It is the real yeah. hardwoods, some custom elements, uh, and a nice private view out the back. You have trees. You're not looking at other houses. So there's a lot to see. So let's get started. And don't forget the gorgeous view out of this window and that window. There is. Over the whole valley. It's beautiful. Nice patio. I like that covered patio really well. And where do you want to go next? Let's go to the family room. That way. Very, very nice size family room. The thing I love about this house and this vintage on, in Crestview like it is, is the, the stained woodwork is all beautifully done and there's chair rail and there's a lot of nice fine uh, trim around the doors and things. You don't see a lot of that. And it, it, it's really well done here. And it's all hardwood, which is great. Yeah. Um, they have a custom built bar and bar back, but the bar can be removed, and then you have a beautiful custom entertainment center. Mm -hmm. The TV and the surround system all stays. Okay. And this is a wood-burning fireplace, so it makes this a really nice cozy room. Yeah, really. Yeah. And then off of this room is a first floor laundry. It has a laundry chute from the master, and that's the way into the garage. But there is also a second laundry in the lower level. So any way you want it, you can have it. <laughs> yes. And so on the other side of this house, this floor, uh, well, first of all, the foyer has a half bath and a den or an office that they use as an office. Yes, a big office. It could be a first floor bedroom if someone needed, mm -hmm. but the office is beautiful. Nice big foyer entry, um, a formal living room, and a full-size formal dining room. Well, yeah, look at the nice French doors into the living room. So yep. clearly formal and very, very well done. Downstairs, there's two finished rooms, like a his and her hobby room, and a second full bath and again that laundry but again storage galore down there this is the most organized storage i've ever seen in a house wait till you see it both engineers right yes yeah. <laughs> okay let's go up and look at the master 
What a great room. How about this master? It's fabulous, isn't I it? I know. You could stay up here all day. And, and <laughs> it's, it's just so big. And, and it's you... open. I like that it's open to the vanity area. There's This whole wall is walk-in closet and the showers around the corner. But again, you have the continuing hardwoods throughout this whole beautiful upstairs. Counter sinks updated. Yep. Beautiful. It's really, really nice. Now, there's another full bath here in excellent condition. And there's three more bedrooms. Three right? other bedrooms, and they're huge. They're Again, with yeah. the hardwood floors throughout and big open uh, foyer as you come up the stairs, the hall as well. Just really good. It gives good airflow. It's mm -hmm. just really great space. It's I think it's a great space for entertaining down on the first floor. Mm -hmm. You could have 40 people down there exactly. all watching the football game or whatever, and whatever. everybody's not crowded on or each having other. Or coffee or uh, yeah, coffee. Yeah, yes. A lot of coffee. Yes. So. All right, so this is at, at um, 7 Dorchester? 7 Dorchester. and it is, Heights. Yes, and it is on the market brand new at 300000 Wow, that's really nice. This is an awful lot of house for the money, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I think, anyway. And it's great. in great shape. How do they see it? And if you'd like to see it, you can give me a call on my cell phone, 725-6308. Thanks a lot, Molly, for showing it to us. Give Molly a call. This is really a nice piece of real estate. I love this house. I Thanks. do too. Thanks, Tom. Quality, just quality. Hi, Carrie. How are you today? Hi, Tom. Good. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having. So where are we, Carrie? We're on 5 Antonio. This is a lovely neighborhood, kind of tucked away up up to Hella Road, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Area of newer homes. Yep. No outlet. No outlet. So, you know, low, and, very low traffic. And, and a lot of just woods and untouched area around oh, right. this. Yeah. And close to Owego and Endicott. That's right. You're right off Day Hollow. So this is a really nice open living dining room area. Right. I, I like their colors. Very, very um, decorated. Very well. Uh, it's very modern. Mm -hmm. It's very HGTV. Thank you for I have that. a lot of those. I have a lot of those houses right now and I love them. <laughs> HGTV. Um, yeah. it, because it's just, it does, it looks very modern. And you got a really nice foyer here and you got all kinds of laundry possibility over there. That's right. And the foyer, Tom, is a laundry area, but it's not currently a laundry area. When they bought this house, the owners, the previous owners, had decided to put the laundry in the basement. Okay. But it could very well be but back, back on the first, mm -hmm. first floor. And it's a great, huge pantry. So yeah. it was difficult for them to decide to put the washer and dryer back up here, and they decided against it because it's great. We, the, everything from the vacuum, extra food, whatever, it all can go in there. It's nice. a great pantry. And then we've got our nice big kitchen family room back here on the yes. back of the house. Oh, I like the whitewash cabinets in here. I like the granite countertops. Right. And the uh, it's the, cool, uh, right? They've got that glass backsplash. That's the checkerboard, which is really neat. Yeah, yeah. Newer appliances. A lot of space. Really, it does. And a gas fireplace. It looks like you have a gas fireplace. And the neat thing about the deck is that you've got sliders going out here from the dining room, but you also have sliders going out from the family room, and the deck goes all the way around. So it wraps all the way around. Right. And the lot actually is a little bit bigger than it looks because you've got that wraparound feature and a little bit of a side yard going mm -hmm. there for you. Very so. nice. Very, very nice. Okay. So uh, that was in the basement. Let's go check the bedrooms out first. Sounds great. What a nice master. I know. It's on this end of the hallway. I know. It's large. It's big. It has a large closet. Huge walk-in closet. Yes. And they actually redid the bathroom. The well, bathroom is wonderful. It's and very that, modern. This shower and the and the whole faucet thing is right. incredible. Right. Yeah, it's very very nice. It's mar uh, uh, granite or marble on the countertops. Marble. Yes. Marble. Mm. Mm -hmm. very nice. We have two more bedrooms. Two more bedrooms. And another full bath. That's correct. And they're all nice size, aren't they? Right. Yeah. Yeah. The bedrooms are all good size. Mm -hmm. And then you have a downstairs family room mm -hmm. for a little extra room. So you've got really a sitting area li slash living room, okay. family room. And then the rec room downstairs in the basement. So All you've finished. got three different living areas. Yeah. Nice size garage. Double car. Double car. And everything is really in very, very nice condition. I love some of their light fixtures. I'm just looking at them as we're mm -hmm. talking. That Everything mm -hmm. matches. Yeah. There's attention to detail here, which I think is a really cool feature of a house that, you know, homeowner really just tries to make sure everything matches. And very, very, very comfortable right. house. Decorated beautifully and just ready for somebody to come into. That's right. And how do they get to see it? They can call me. They can call me on my cell, which is 607-343-1035. Or they could call the office, which is 
Great, give Carrie a call. This is a nice house. I love this location. You're up high, you're a nice quiet neighborhood, and you're close to everything. Right. You're close to Weagle, you're close to Endicott. It's really very, very attractive. Give Carrie a call. I don't think this one's gonna be around long, do you? I don't think so either, Tom. Get it before it's gone. Thanks, Thanks. Carrie. Thank you.